all right what's going on youtube it's your boy uno and we out here getting another video going today we're gonna talk about is 2k scamming this video comes from your boy red and we about to listen to his spiel on what's going on with the vc prices in the community <laughs> So is 2K scamming? Is it a scam? Are they scamming us or not? Nah? That's the title of today's video. Today's video is titled 2K24 is scamming you and here's why. Your boy Red is going to give us some of the reasons why he feel like 2K is scamming our boots. Let's get straight into it. Throughout the years, 2K has become more of a microtransaction than an actual game in my opinion. They are taking advantage of their consumer because they can get away with it with no complications. 2K has no other competitors in the basketball game. See, that's the problem that we have on our hands, which isn't really a big problem to me. I don't care that 2K is the best game in existence and they don't have any competition. I'm not worried about it. I'm just not worried about that. That's not my problem. But the VC prices are crazy. And it's not so much even the prices. It's the price that it takes to upgrade your player. And more than that, it's really, it really comes down to, let me tell you what it comes down to, because y'all don't know what it comes down to. It comes down to how much it costs to upgrade your player and to outfit your player and to buy boost. And a bigger problem with Boost now that I've been mentioning for the competitive community, the actually competitive players, they can't even dash out of games now. We used to have a system where we would dash out of the game to keep our Boost because Boost costs a whole lot, bro. You'd be surprised what you spend on Boost, Gatorade Boost. You'd be really surprised on what you spend on that stuff. And I mean, not being able to keep those in the comp community is crazy right now. See, you're going to spend a stack on boost alone just to get your player boosted to be able to do something. You can't run out there in the comp community without boost, bro. And they used to save hundreds on, on dashing out after the game is over. Just dashboard. You good. Keep your boost. You don't lose boost for that game. And then even at that point, the way that they got the situation now is that you can't dash out. You can't even get back in the games quick. It takes all night to run a tournament. To say somebody, say we have complications and somebody gets put out the game. Now we got to wait 30 minutes to even get the matchup going. 2K, y'all got to do something about that. That's not going to fly. That's not going to fly at all. That's heavy weight right there. Like we need to be able to feel comfortable in a comp setting. And when you sicken us with these 30 minute bans and these, we can, you can end up banned for life because you just got kicked out the game. You can get kicked out of the game. This is a pandemic right here. This is the worst thing that I've ever seen in 2K history. You catching a ban for quitting out of these games now, man. I felt it in the my team setting. I praised it when it when it came to news that the my team part of the game was getting this. Cause I felt like, eh, I don't really like y'all quitting out of the games and I don't really get all of my accolades. But at the end of the day, when I when I second thought it, it really was helping me. I mean, I mean, I don't have to waste time in game with you because you dashed out and you was losing anyway. But I mean, that's neither here nor there. The bigger problem is comp is going to spend hundreds and hundreds of more dollars just to get games played, just to get games and waste hours upon hours upon hours. I watched, I watched, I was watching the overnight tournament last night and some of these things are ridiculous that I'm seeing in these Twitch streams. Like you got players that have to load up on whole new accounts, whole new players just to get their tournament done. And 
I feel like that's that's a nuisance. At the end of the day, that's a big nuisance, 2K. We got to do something about that there. But let's get back into this and figure out what bro's talking about. Game niche. What's good, YouTube, man? It's your boy Red, and I'm back with another video. And today I'm talking about how 2K is scamming its players. I'm not a super diehard fan of 2K, just a casual. I started playing 2K online when NBA 2K21 oh, drop dropped. That. But since 2K21 to 2K23, things have got super expensive within those couple of years. And with 2K24 dropping, there are some things we all need to discuss. And I don't think it's a major topic in the conversation of 2K. Reason number one, and I believe everybody can agree with me, VC prices. And there's no way that I already have to pay almost $100 on the base game because I mean, okay, you got a point there. He has a big point there, but it's not so much the VC prices as it is how much in-game items cost and how much it costs to update your players and get right. You feel me? I'm not buying no legendary edition. I'm not buying the, the other edition that's like an actual $100. Then you got the 100 I mean, okay, I'm a, I'm a basketball fan. I'm a sports fan, period. And, you know, I felt like Last year, I felt like, boom, let me go ahead and get the uh, the bigger package of the game to have, what is it called? The League Pass, NBA League Pass. I'm like, yeah, let me go ahead and get that. I'm going to use that. Playoff time, it came in handy. One thing that I can say about that is that, you know, some of them game blackouts are different, you know, and um, ain't really nothing I can do about that anyway, you know. And I don't know if Spectrum has come to an agreement but they was trying to figure out what to do about their sports packages with ESPN. So, you know, sports is in a bad place right now, but I still went ahead and got that league pass because I know come playoff time, I'm going to want to see those games. And, uh, you know, I don't do the whole TV thing. I don't, you know, I don't watch TV. I watch the internet pretty much for news and for sports. You know, I just go, I'll go straight to YouTube and watch highlights or, or um a hey, just just straight up do my thing that way you know do my my um internet company eh hey. the fifty dollars I am an average basketball fan I don't care about getting a hundred and fifty dollar edition for the lead pass like I'm not gonna watch that you feel me but other people may do but at the same time. There's no reason to pay that much money for it. You already have to pay almost $100 on the game. And then to get your play up to a 99 without buying VC is going to take so long. And those who have jobs and work 8, 10, 12 hour shifts don't have time to just keep constantly grinding and grinding and grinding. So guess what they're going to do? Spend money to get a player up. Based off 2K23, you're going to pay almost $100. Hey, straight up. I mean, he's not wrong. He's not wrong at all. If we switch over here for a second, we can see that this brother is not wrong. You're going to end up spending a whole lot of money on your bills, period, first and foremost. I mean, over the years, the prices that it costs to buy VC has not changed at all. You have been able to get the same VC for the same prices, but the cost of your build has fluctuated drastically. And um, we've seen an increase in that. And as you see that total there at the bottom, in order to do one player pretty much is uh, 475,000 VC. I feel like I feel like that's outrageous. I do feel like that's outrageous. That could come down. You know what I mean? That's one that's one reason why I limit the amount of players I make and I take my time when I'm choosing, you know, which players I'm really going to mess with. You know, I can't just bust out and say, let me make 14 players. And it is honestly taking me away from the comp situation. Um, last year, I didn't play much competitive 2K. For one reason, it's because I didn't have the time to necessarily. But for the major reason is, um, you know, when you get with these teams and they may need a certain player to fit the scheme, who's gonna who's gonna pay for the player you gonna buy the player i mean that's like 
it's like a hundred bucks to fill out a player and 150 bucks to fill out a whole player. And nobody, I'm not about to do that. I'm not finna do that. I'm not, I'm not about to take my time out to grind that VC. It take a long, it don't take that long to grind the VC. I have a method where you can grind the VC out really easy. I got a method that can, that can get you some VC. But when it comes down to it, if we're talking about it the long way, I mean, that takes time. It'll take you a week to two weeks to actually grind out that 100K, 200K VC. And you're going to be playing seven seasons of my career to do it. So let me know if y'all want a video on that down in the comment section. I got y'all covered. Oh, that's a fat finger. But let's get back into it. What is bro talking about? Oh, let's get your player up. Me personally, I'm not about to pay $100 for some damn microtransactions and almost $100 on the game. I'm not doing that. And then you got to include the cost of like, if you want to get some clothes, tattoos for your player, like cosmetic items. That's going to cost a lot of money if you decide to spend money, you know? But then if you decide to take the route of just grinding out, it's going to take you so long because one, you go try to play my career, right? You can't play on Hall of Fame because that's too hard and you are 60 overall. So you got to drop down a rookie. And because how it is now, depending on the difficulty you choose. I mean, I'm, I'm going to argue. I'm going to argue with that. I'm going to argue that out. It's not that hard to play on Hall of Fame. And you don't have to play on Hall of Fame to actually get you about 1,200 VC a game. Yeah, I mean, I can put the game on. I can put it on Pro. And that's straight up where you get 100, you know, you get 100% with no boost of your VC. Yeah, I can, I can get about 1,200 a game, 1,500. You know, if you want to go up to, if you want to go up to All-Star, you get a 20% increase on your VC that you earn per game. And, you know, that can get you a couple, couple thousand per game. You know what I'm saying? So it ain't that hard to get about a thousand VC per game. You know, bro kind of wilding. He kind of rolling with his numbers. But, you know, I can see that to, you know, exaggerate it a little bit for the video. We all do it. I mean, yeah. Choose would depend on how much VC and badge points you get. And a my career game takes almost 20 to 30 minutes if you decide to play it all the way through. Your first contract is going to be like 500 VC per game. So you might not even get a thousand VC per game. You feel me? So that just already going to take you out at the end with the cosmetic items. And 2K23, a do rag cost 10,000 VC. You know how long that's going to take? Like if you have like a full max contract, the most you get per contract per game is like a thousand VC per game. So it takes you like 10 my career games roughly to get enough VC to buy a do-rag. And that's 20 to 30 minutes per game if you don't exploit it or just decide. Like if you decide to play it all the way through, it's going to take you two hours plus just to get a do rag for your my player. Then also. My question is, why do you want that do rag? Nobody don't nobody want no do rag like that. Kobe. That's kind of uh, excessive. I mean, I feel your argument, but I'm not about to stand for that. I can't. I can't stand that one. That's. Yeah, I'm not going to stand Lee out on that. I mean. It, but but it, he not wrong. It's gonna take you a pretty minute to get up the VC that you need to just get these cosmetics if you want them. He's not wrong. I mean, but when it come down to it, like like I can see they they know what they be doing. This one thing, like he's not wrong. It's it's scamish. It's scammy behavior. It's been scammy behavior for years. You know what I mean? Like this ain't this ain't new. You can go back to twenty eighteen. And it was like, oh, this is scammy. And it get way more scammy on the other side of the board. You take yourself to the, the my team side of the boards. Oh, my gosh. Scammy whammy. It's scammy wells about that mud. You know what I mean? Scammy shammy, you know what I mean? But but as far as, like, the time that it takes to get your, get your VC up, to go ahead and get you a, a jacket or something that you might want, bruh. You'll be here forever. The mischief boots, 25K. 25K, bro. You know, sometimes it'll be some of these items that you'll see and you'll be like, why did that cost that much? That's different. 
you know, but I mean, if you difference, you can, you can get the VC up to get this, you know, get what you want. You had to think about upgrading your player too. The upgrades start off cheap when you are low overall, but as soon as you get. Yeah, the upgrades be taking me out. You'd be surprised. They changed this year a little bit. I think they're a little bit better on them, but I can't, I can't be the one to, you know, say for sure what the, uh, what the upgrades is costing like. Getting your high 90s or high 80s, it's gonna cost you almost like 20 30k just for one little upgrade bar. And this is one of the reasons why I just low key just done with 2k, even though 2k24 does look it does look good, honestly. I like the gameplay, everything just looks smooth and realistic. That's all I want a realistic ass basketball game. But at the same time, I'm not spending any more money than I have to, bro. Like, what is up with us buying games? It didn't have to spend more money just get other stuff and like to upgrade our players and things like cosmetic items i want my dude to have tattoos i'm not paying cash to get vc even though i could just play my career or even play all the other game modes and stuff but like even then it's still gonna take a long time because clothing is so expensive the tat everything cosmetic in 2k is expensive like the transportation like i get that's supposed to be expensive but it's beyond expensive like what are y'all doing like y'all just making everything so hard to obtain man for no reason i don't have no time to put like five or six hours in 2k every day most i could do is like an hour now i just want to enjoy the game man. i don't want to just have to put money keep up keep buying stuff for this game and the cold party is the folks that do have the time to put four and six hours into the game a day they don't care about any of the stuff that you're talking about. Any of, they don't care about any of these cosmetic rewards, tattoos. At the most, at the most, they're using a VC to build new players. Definitely, because that is what comp players do. Comp players will build all the players they can, take up every slot it takes to build a player, and then delete players and build new players. That is definitely what comp players will do. Hey, and then buying it every year, I'm not doing that. You feel me? I don't get how people do that every year. It's always the same thing with 2K. Oh, so you know, as soon as they release the trailer, oh, this 2K look good. Oh, this might be the best 2K yet. A couple months later, man, this 2K was horrible. That's what everybody was saying about 2K23, and then 22, and then 21. It's like, Everybody says the same thing every year and then start complaining about it and just be complaining and complaining and complaining, bro. It's like, just play something else, bro. Y'all just gonna keep buying it. What is going on in game? I didn't know what they were talking about. My bad, y'all. That's crazy. Like, that's insanity, bro. Like, you buying the same thing every year and going through the same emotions of how you felt with the game previous years and you expect it to be better. Just leave it alone, man. But it's the only basketball game. That I mean, I can, I can stand for that. I can stand leave that. He is speaking facts. But at the end of the day, this is the only basketball game that they make. And if you if you know, you know, we're going to play 2K. 2K fans, that's what 2K fans are going to play 2K. Even if we don't like 2K, if we don't, even if we do not like 2K at all, we can have a, a pure dislike, disgruntledness in our hearts for the company. And we will still buy the game and play it. Even if we have to wait until the game costs $2 or is free on on Game Pass or, you know, whatever we got to do, we're going to get the game and play it. Oh, yeah, that's what we're going to do. You know, and hey, it is what it is. I mean, you got some folks that don't put any money into it and still play it. Yeah, they be trash for a long time. They might take a long time of grinding, but they, they do it. I don't know how they do it. But they do it, nonetheless.
that we got so i i, I don't blame y'all but me personally i'm just done with it dog done with it. i'm done with it i'm done with it reason number two same game different year sometimes i ask myself is there really a point in releasing a new basketball game every year like really that that's the question i've been having for him lately like is this some kind of way where we can have a better system where we don't have to buy the new game every year because it's not necessarily I mean, the only benefit to that is 2K getting paid, to be honest. It's, it's kind of a, and especially since they added these season passes, they can go Fortnite level now and just, we got the, we got the game, we bought the game. Now next year, just give us our cosmetic upgrades, you know, change the engine. Do we have to necessarily I don't know. Is somebody in the tech world or that knows about that can would have to tell me, would have to tell us like, in order to get, in order to get the new feel of the game that we get every year, do we have to buy a new game? Do we need a whole new, or can that just come in updates? I believe that can come in updates, right? I've seen I've seen Fortnite look different over the years just off of updates. Period, right? I mean. I don't know about that situation. You can't, I can't tell you that side of the ball. I do know that it's ridiculous, especially with seasons introduced now that we have to buy a new game, though, a new packaged game. You know, I, I believe that's, that's greedy. That's greed and part of the scam. If we want to say anything's a scam, that's part of the scam. Can y'all give me some reasons down below in the comments? Because I don't think there is. Has the game mechanics changed so much that it needs a new game every year? Why not have a big major update once a year? The update will consist of the new NBA roster and other changes. They drop an update every new season of 2K and they may change it to the wreck and throughout the neighborhood. So why not do that once a year and have the season updates throughout the year? Now they have to make money so they could charge people to get the update because technically we pay for an update roster anyway so it wouldn't be anything different than what we used to unless there's a major change to the gameplay mechanics that requires them to start from scratch it's like every time when it's time for 2k to come out they always release the builder the gameplay they show a little gameplay footage all that constantly it's always been like the same thing one year they make the build script you know what i'm saying one build can't do everything and then one year they make it to the point of like, you could really just grind out one build and just be able to do everything you want to do for real, for real. Like with 23, six, nine builds were the wave. Like if you didn't have a six, nine, like what are you doing? The six, nines, you could just be like prime KD or Giannis for real, for real. Like if you made anything shorter than a, I'll say at least a sit eight, like you messing up. Cause like what a sit for a three point guard gonna do to a sit nine? You're getting knocked out the way, you're getting dunked on. Like, there's nothing you could do. You're getting shot over. They're shooting over you. There's nothing that you can do. So everybody really adapted to the wave. And then boom. Not gonna lie, it was over those. If you was if you didn't make a six line build, it was it was over for you. It was over for you. Easy. Six nines are everywhere. You don't know what somebody can do. It's like everybody could do everything. You feel me? In my opinion, that kind of ruins the game because nobody's making their own build. They going straight to YouTube. Best six nine build. Like there's no diversity with these builds anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like compared for me playing 2021 to 2023, 21 had a lot of more builds. Like I seen all types of builds. You know what I'm saying? 22, it was a little bit more diversity, but more of like short guards left writing sprint pass you know it was either those short motherfuckers or you had the dominant ass big man you know what i'm saying but even then you still needed like what maybe a couple bills you know depending on your play style but with 23 dog you better all just making one bill like with me i made only one build in 23 because like it was so expensive i had dropped like i didn't even pay for 100 i paid it 50 to get my dude to an 80 and I just grinded the rest. Like I was not finna make another build. I wanted to make another build so bad because like the squad that I play 2K with are big. He is so ass and I, I, I could 
I'm definitely better than that dude, honestly. I didn't want to make another build and have to grind badges all over again and put money into the game. Then like, let alone if I start playing 2K, then that's like a waste of money because put all this money into like getting my player up, then I just start playing it. Like, it's just a waste of money altogether, honestly. Which is why I say it's just like, there's no reason for a new game every year. But at the end of the day, I can't really tell y'all what you want to spend your money on. If 2K makes you happy and y'all okay with what y'all getting and the results, hey, do you. But me personally, bro, I'm tired of buying games. I didn't have to spend more money on games in order to play the game. You feel me? If it's just like for cosmetic items and like, oh, you know, some shit on like some Fortnite shit. Nah, that made me just, that I just thought about something. You have to pay for the season. I'm saying you pay for the season pass and then you're going to have to pay for the season pass every season. That's nine season passes. They getting paid. They're, that's a scam. That's part of the scam. At this rate, if y'all gonna be making us pay for a season pass 2K, we need free game. The game have to be free. Y'all gotta come up off of something. I mean, I'm not about, to, I don't know, bro. I put it like this. Y'all gonna have to come up off of something. Y'all y'all doing a lot right now. Y'all putting a lot into it for it to be what it is. You know, like, like and then the game mechanics, we can't get, we can't get it polished. It, it don't feel real. Oh, I don't know, bro. Like it don't, it don't feel real. It don't feel this, this game this year. It's way more taxing on trying to figure out how to build a player and then be comfortable with that player. It, you got way more role play. Like it's way more role play involved in this right here. So for me to say, I'm going to be comfortable with the game. I'm going to need y'all to come up off of something. Like, with, with, especially with seasons costing what they cost. That's crazy. And then y'all want to put, y'all want to put dubs on it by saying it's cosmetic and this and that. Nah, y'all got floor setters in them season packages. I'm going to need y'all to come up off of something, 2K. When I saw floor setters in there, I'm like, all right, that's kind of, kind of different. You know, you got something in here that's actually giving us a little competitive edge. So I don't know, bro. Y'all going to have to come up off of something, though. It's not, it's not what you think. We're not going to go for this as a community. I'm lying. The community going to take whatever y'all throw. Y'all can keep on running it the same way y'all want. Keep scamming. Keep uh, running it the way y'all running it because the community is going to play the game regardless. Once the NBA got behind it, I knew for, for a fact, 2K can do whatever they want. They can charge what they want. If they charged us $500 for this game, it'd be less people playing it, but people will be playing it. Folks is definitely going to buy 2K and play 2K. I mean, that's just how it go. Season tiers, bro, to get like better awards out the season on some Fortnite battle pass shit. Like, what the fuck? Like, I'm done with that. You won't catch me spending money on 2K unless something important has changed. I'm not doing that. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all the next one. Straight up, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe, buddy, and he'll see you in the next one. Yeah, that's your boy Red. I'll plug the video in the, in the description. Because we're we going to need that. We're going to need that. I mean, that's some information that y'all might want to look into. Y'all might want to, you know, hear back and run back on your own time. But for me, I mean, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a 2K fan. I'm going to play the game regardless. That's what's going to happen is I'm going to play the game regardless. So, so, yeah, I mean, it is what it is at this point. The most you could say for me is. Most I can say to y'all is yeah, it is a scam and watch what you spend on it and don't let them get all your dough, you know, because you can make some mistakes on these players and you feel like, damn, I got to rebuild this player because I missed one or two certain points on it, you know. But um, that's that's a whole nother story for a whole nother time. At this point, is 2K scamming y'all? Yes. But I mean, is it terrible scam? They getting over hand over foot, but but it ain't no way for me to say they wrong. We the ones spending the money. You know, at the end of the day, it's our coin and we spending it. 
So if, if you're a fan like that, that you're going to spend your coin on the game, you know, spend it and don't cry about it. The most I can say is don't cry about it. If you're spending your money on the game and you that's what you do year to year, every year, you know, just be wise and hip to the scam and what's going on and know how to keep the 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 consumer's edge. You know, there's a certain thing called a consumer's edge. And I really be feeling bad for the youngsters whose parents are spending the money. You know, their parents don't know how much it really take to do this. But they figure it out at the end of the day. They be like, why am I spending so much on 2K? You say you need this and this and that every other day. You asking me for 10 and $20 and you trying to get a new build. Bruh. You know how much it costs just to feed y'all? <laughs> Cut it. Your booze mean nothing. I've seen what makes you cheer.